Alright, so this is building off of um, an earlier tutorial on creating space frames. So, if you wanted a, a regular form, uh, this is the issue that some students are kind of coming to. They have something like this, or something like that, some kind of closed polygon that they've turned into a surface. I'm assuming this is coplanar, this should work. And once you feed that into the subdivide, you can see that the the way that the script works well, in the way that Rhino works, it's going to try to treat this as an untrimmed surface. So essentially it's going to put like a bounding box surface wrapping around uh, the irregular form, the trim surface, and it's going to try to interpret the, uh, the surface that way. So it's, your grids are going to be completely kind of misconstrued on the original object. There's not a lot of great ways to get around this, but I have figured out like one kind of thing that you can try and probably make it work. Um, particularly space frames would probably like more of a regular form anyway. So what you do is you start with a regular surface. So this surface was created just using um, a corner to corner. And then I'm going to do a points on and grab a point. And you can see that, you know, because I'm manipulating the original surface and I haven't really changed its geometry that much, that the, the grid is now uh, moving with it and kind of subdividing it uh, in a very regular format. Okay, so that's one step. So if that uh, fill, uh, fixes your issue, then great. Okay, let's imagine that you have something a little bit more irregular, maybe not quite this irregular, but something a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit that surface, and I'm going to, there's probably several ways to do this, but I'm going to do it like this. Uh, I'm going to insert a kink. Uh, so select my surface, and then you can select either the V or the U direction, or, or both. I'm going to just keep it like the V, and I'll just throw in kind of some point there, maybe some point there. And hit return. Alright, so now I have these points that I can move. And you can see that uh, it's now kind of using that, and I'm gathering, you know, uh, these are subdividing here regularly, and then this between the kinks is subdividing regularly. So that's another way that you can start to get some of these irregular forms to a space frame. All right.